Okay, so Bandit and I have driven a little over two hours and um, sorry about all the noise. Oh my goodness, it's so loud right here. I just pulled over to the side of the road at a place that looks like it was probably a produce stand that's not operating right now because of the shutdown, but it made a nice place for us to be able to stop. Uh, this is a blackberry patch behind me. And uh, so far today in um, Mobile, Alabama, on the outskirts of Mobile, I saw a church that had so many people at it that there were two cop cars directing traffic coming out of the church. I'm sorry I didn't get a, a picture of it, um, but I, I, it just caught me by surprise and I was so shocked that I, I just didn't get a picture. And then further on out in the country, there was another church, but the pastor was in the church grounds in, uh, um, outside and everybody was parked around the church, around in the parking lot in like a semi-circle. And uh, he had a mic and everything and was talking to everybody while they were in their cars. And um, so I, I, there was no place to pull over or get that for you. Oh, it's so loud. I'm so sorry. But I, if I don't tell you now, I'll forget. And so I wanted to tell you what I've seen. I saw a Lowe's um, that is uh, that was just uh, packed. There were, there were so many cars, there wasn't even an empty parking spot. And But the rest of the country that I've seen so far from um, Alabama, uh, to Mississippi, which I'm, I'm in a uh, very small town in Mississippi right now, um, is pretty much closed, but I can't tell any difference, honestly, from a normal Sunday drive and traffic to things being closed um, than, than usual. So I, I'm surprised, if, but it is Sunday and things would normally be closed anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm not seeing much difference so far. I'm stopping to get gas first time on the trip and I'm going to use my system of uh, I've got a container that has trash bags in it and I'll use trash bags to hold the fuel pump uh, handle and then throw that away and then I have a container that has my mask in it and I'm fixing to put one on although nobody here at this gas station has one on but like there's like a car parked next to me two feet from me and it's got people on the passenger side next to me. So I'm gonna put my mask on. And then what I do is I have another container that has a red lid on it. After I take wear that mask, it goes in there until I can wash it and sterilize it again. So um, anyway, fixing to use my system for the first time out here in uh, this cray cray world. Well, that didn't go very well. Bentley fell, Bentley. Bandit fell in a mud hole and I just gave him a bath yesterday. Hi, Bandit. <laughs> I just gave him a bath yesterday at Chuck and Luddy's before leaving and he bites when you try to dry him. So that was an ordeal. Then the lid fell off of my spray bottle that I use to rinse my hands with. And then the door handle over there on the door came off. So I uh, screwed it in as best I could, but it is not going to hold. So I think uh, Bandit is still trying to get away from me uh, because he didn't like being dried off. But we are going to get secured and move on down the road. We stopped at this rest area in Louisiana, but I'm gonna keep going because it's early and it's too hot to be able to rest comfortably anyway. So I fed Bandit and walked him, and uh, I gotta tell you, we went through Monroe, Louisiana, and the, the Lowe's, the Home Depot, the Target, um, there was a restaurant, I can't remember the name of it. They were all packed to the gill in the parking lot. So we are going to keep moving, and we'll see how far we get today. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> he's, a, he's such a good travel buddy.
I just left my sister's. I actually had to drive a very long day to get there because where I was going to stay, it was too hot and humid and stormy in Louisiana. So I came through that checkpoint that you guys just saw and my next stop was my sister's and I'm a little choked up because I'm leaving a lot of love in my tail lights, you guys, as I had head west. But I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I have seen so far on this trip. And now I've got three more states to go. I left my sister's this morning and it's mid afternoon, actually kind of late afternoon. 92 degrees outside and we have stopped at this rest area. The gas prices are great. They're like eight, $1.25 a gallon for regular uh, unleaded and uh, I get the premium. So I'm paying still less than $2 a gallon though. Or no, I think this last time it was two nineteen. But I hear from my friends out west that it is uh, out, out like almost $3 a gallon still. So I'm not sure what to expect. So I'm keeping my gas tank full while it is less expensive and i'm not going through any real major cities this this time and i'm not seeing a lot of traffic and everything like i did last time uh, it's been pretty pleasant drive bandit are you ready to get back on the road huh you ready to get back on the road let's go baby good boy gas stations and stuff but other than that nobody's really wearing gas mask or doing the six feet separation that I can see okay I'm at an intersection bye <laughs> 